Hi, hello, this is a new chess, uh, random chess game, and I, found, I played this interesting game with black pieces, and then you can, uh, I think the analyzing, um, the opening of chess 960 is important for chess skills, because it really shows that you know the real theory behind the, those, behind that game, so e4 is a mistake here. Not inaccuracy, sorry. So, because um, it cannot stop me going there, I guess that's the reason. So, it, and then it stops knight and bishop, and it is sort of close to the king, so that's the reason probably. And e6 is also inaccuracy. I'm supposed to play d4, f4 for opening. So, in this, in chess 960, I think it's important to always think that you can push your pawn to the other place, if uh, the other square, if it's possible. So, you, and g3 was played, I think it is not a mistake, but what I do is, that it was that definitely a mistake. So, I just took it, and I, I regret then, because after taking it, I realized that I'm not in a position that... Um, so because first of all the spawn is gone and the queen is not really helping me so the queen was there before it can come to help but now I think it's just harder but still my pawn didn't really take advantage of it because instead it could just stop me from going to this square by playing here and my queen will stuck there and then he will play it here and it will take my queen maybe, so that's sort of a problem. So then I was able to escape and I gave my useless bishop to uh, to uh, this bishop, this bishop is very useful, so and knight e3 was played and then I played my knight, it's a normal development move and he played king uh, rook h1 and it's a mistake I guess and then e5 was also seems also a mistake double question because I think because from this position he can attack this piece at a time that's the one reason maybe he can play he can play it again and attack it so it's a vulnerable there but I don't know where I'm supposed to play so instead I saw oh, I could also take this bishop and if he takes me I could take him too so and there are other pieces to take so that's better and then he took, I took, and it's his inaccuracy. And he, yeah, I, I calculated that he could take it, and it's still, it's not good for me, because after taking it, this is also this pawn. It can, it can capture this piece too. And queen g5, and and f5, and bishop. D3 instead of he should play something else like take this piece I, I was curious like when he was gonna take take capture this piece But he didn't keep capture at all. He thinks that I can trap him somehow <clears throat> And at that time I think I had some time problems So I don't have much time to think to three seconds at that time and then g4 and f4 and Check and I once I thought that exchanging coins are better. So you It's better. He doesn't have a strong uh, pieces there and then he can like bring his rock there too so that it's dangerous for me and then after exchanges um, he played knight h4 so at that time he's white is winning slightly and then I I'm thinking how I can protect this piece like knight e5 and then he played d4 so according to the engine, I was supposed to go there. I didn't think that I can go there. I have like 24 seconds, so I had to play fast. And I thought maybe I can take it, but it's actually protected by the bishop, so that's hopeless. And then he, after the, so now, so the rook, I should cancel this side. So then the rook will be this side, I guess that will be better. And I will protect this pawn maybe, so after the castle, so. This is mistake, but at least the rooks are together, and either finally took it, and then some some moves without. So he just he's just up a pound, four pound, almost more than 
almost like a rope, rock, upper rock, and uh, knight f3, and then so then he lost his advantage to that. But my pieces are sort of I have a bishop, and bishop is useful up there, and I can take some of those pawns because the pawns are very separated there. So, um, so I was thinking at that time I had only seven seconds, so me, I decided to take it and escape so to avoid the, another check so I should go back and then he played c3 this is mistake and I took it so I used the, so that and the knight is protecting this pawn and then if but if I push it then there's no protector so I played it and then so this is like a repetitive move and then king c2 is inaccuracy, it's a waste of move, I guess. Uh, engine suggests a5 is inaccuracy. I think I'm supposed to play with b5 um, because maybe this, after po advancing pawn, I cannot protect this pawn. And d3 and c7 was mis blunder. I'm supposed to stop the. St I'm supposed to stop this rook. I didn't see that. I I wasn't. Uh, there was a time pressure, I had 6 seconds and then played knight and uh, and I, he played knight e4 it's a blunder because there is that knight e3 so after that now I'm winning so after this trap and then he took all my pawns that's bad, and then this is the rest is just end game. And then this lost first checkmate sequence. I didn't see that there's a such sequence. So, and then so I I just I fall for that draw, and then I lost. I, I the game end with draw. It seems I'm more accurate, but it's like it's like a seven terrible mistake and three small mistake and seven inaccuracies. And that's all I want to say. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video.